so we we can we can we can start okay we have this question this was examined in december 2018 so it is still a bit fresh then go okay. through the question let me just read it out Newton Company is a company based in the USA, supplying medical equipment to the USA and Europe. It is 30 November or 30th November 20x8. Newton Company's, Newton Company's Treasury Department is currently dealing with a sale to a Swiss customer of whatever currency that is. 12.3 million, which has just been agreed, where the customer will pay for the equipment on the first May 20x9. The Treasury Department intends to hedge the foreign exchange risk on this transaction using traded futures or options as far as possible. Any amount not hedged by futures or option contract would be hedged on the forward market. <coughs> Exchange rates quoted as US dollar slash France, whatever, whatever currency that is, one. So what it means, if we go back there, So whatever you do, if you are selling, this is the issue here. Mm -hmm. If you are receiving, I'm surprised it's not writing. Oh my God. Uh, but the, the captain is there, so it should be able uh, to write. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here, if you are receiving, It should be higher. Higher than if you are actually paying. You get it, then? Eh? That's the first thing that we need to know. Uh -huh. It should profit you if you are receiving if you are receiving, then if you are actually paying, we start from there. Let's just, I just want you to understand this part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so that we don't get confused on these issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me remove the thing. Okay. So, where are we? So on the exchange. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so here we are actually saying the, the Treasury Department intends to hedge the foreign exchange risk on this transaction using traded futures or options as far as possible. Any amount not hedged by a futures or option contract will be held on the forward. This is more destructive. I can see. Mm -hmm. It was obstructing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Treasury Department intends to hedge the foreign exchange risk on the transaction using traded futures or options as far as possible. Any amount not hedged by futures or option contracts will be hedged on the forward market. So we have the spot, spot rate. Uh, 
Okay, so this is so many dollars per, per one that France, whatever, or Swiss, Swiss currency. Mm -hmm. So I've been given three numbers, the spot rate, three months forward, six months forward. Then we have been given the current futures, the contract size, the futures price, and we have been given the futures for December, March, and June for the relevant, for the relevant months. Mm -hmm. I, you know the current options because we'll be looking at it tomorrow. Non-executive director's comments, maybe we just get what the non-executive director is saying. It says, a new non-executive director has recently been briefed about the work of the Treasury Department and has a number of questions about hedging activities. He wants to understand the significance of basis risk in relation to futures. He also wants to know the significant features of over-the-counter forward contracts and options. And why Newton Company prefers to use exchange-traded derivatives for hedging. <laughs> the non-executive director has also heard about the mark-to-market process and wants to understand the technology involved and how the process works using the transaction with a Swiss customer as an example. The Treasury Department has supplied relevant information to answer his query. The contract specification for the Swiss currents, whatever futures, contract states that an initial margin of $1,450 per contract to be required and a maintenance margin of $1,360 per contract to also be required. The tick size of the contract is. 0.001 dollars meaning that the the contract can go up by that or go down by that, that same tick value mm -hmm. okay you can assume that on the first day when newton company holds the futures contract the loss per contract is so i'm not so much in, uh, interested in all those first we look at the first part of the question and just for today we'll concentrate on the futures. Evaluate which of the exchange traded derivatives would give Newton Company the higher receipt considering scenarios when the options are and are not exercised. Okay. okay. So the first thing, you know, when you are responding to such type of questions, the most important thing is to have the story in your mind nice so that you visualize the property. First, we need to know where is this company? That's the first thing. We in also USA. need to know the date. So we know mm -hmm. that we have a company called whatever. So this company is in the USA. Meaning that they deal in dollars to start with. Right? It's based in the USA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's supplying to where? Supplying US to a Swiss and company. In Europe. Yeah. So we'll just do like this. So saying supplying to Europe. And they are actually using a currency. Is it CF CHF? Yes. 
Mm-hmm. So that is what we know. But then we need to ask ourselves, when are they trying to do this? When, when, it, when, it, when is it actually being done? We need to ask ourselves, what is today? Today is 30 November 28. So it is 30 November. Or leave it like this, or just say 30 November. Okay, we can do X08, isn't it? Yes. Then we ask ourselves, we go to the future. When do they want to do, to have these things, exercise, or whatever? They are so supposed it, to pay on the, on the 31st of May, X9. So, so the future, that we are actually looking at is 30th, eh? is it 30th? May, isn't it? Twenty x 9 So the question is, how many months? Find the months for months. me. Six. Six months. We want to know the whole story because once we know the whole story and we imagine and visualize it nicely in the exam room, we will not have big problems. We might have slight problems, but we will not have those serious demons that would make us fail the exam. Sure. Right. So the question is, this company in Europe how much do we expect to get using their currency? Okay, it says so, Newton's uh, company. Uh, mm-hmm. okay. We are the ones paying, coach. So, with the Swiss customer, is it us paying? It's kind of dealing oh, sorry, with a sorry, sale sorry. for a Swiss customer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, sorry, sorry. So we are expected to get 12.3 million, whatever, CH. Uh, so we expect uh, to get a 12.3 million using the occurrence of CHF. Right? This is what we actually expect to to receive, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? So, this is what we expect to receive. At least we have what is required for now. We know that there will be these guys, when are they actually paying? When are we supposed to receive the same amount? The 31st of May, 20X9. So the customer will pay on 31st May, 20X9. Yes. So the, <coughs> the Treasury Department intends to hedge the foreign exchange risk because we don't want to have problems. So we are trying to actually hedge. Here, first again, we have to go back there. Oh, let's just. Do this. We need to ask ourselves a question that uh, if you look at that currency, it shows whatever dollars pay that thing. So we are actually saying if we are looking at the spot rate, okay, let me just come up with an, an abstract number. We are maybe not an abstract number. Let me do this. We look at the spot rate first. So, for example, if we are actually looking at, say, 1.0292. So this one 
it's basically dollars, isn't it? The interpretation. I just want to yes. have the interpretation. Having one USD. Is it have yes. we interpreted it correctly? Based on the question, has it so been interpreted? Best, the, it shows dollars pay one chef, isn't it? Yes. The the yes the, the best rate is the chef. <laughs> uh -huh. So th those those quotes there are dollars. I bet yes. Yes, they are dollars. Uh -huh. They are dollars. So now, having done this, we first need to know. We know the way that we have the twelve point three. So we need to actually check how many contracts we can actually buy from the 12.3 so that we know if there's any difference that difference we are actually going to go for the uh, for the for the forward market so okay. we have the 12.3 which we expect million uh C F whatever, C H F as a currency, and we have been told. Hello, coach, sorry, um, mm. I'm just a bit behind a bit. Uh, uh, on, on the court, the spot rate there, you mm. picked the. Here, I was just trying to the do. First court. No, I was, I was, I was trying to have the interpretation. Oh, okay. That it's so many dollars pay one mm. Swiss whatever. Oh, okay, all right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we go back here. So we have the 12.3 million divided by the current futures we're told the contract price is 125,000, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is 125,000. Do, do you multiply by the months as well? No. Mm -mm. We are just trying to find the contract price for now. Mm -hmm. So we are saying if we have that 12.3 million, we want to invest it. How many contracts can we buy? That would be 98.4, so 98. So first, you do like this. Let's do it correctly, folks, 98.4. Uh -huh. So meaning that we have 98. Yes. Because we cannot uh, buy in piecemeal. So we have 98 contracts. So these 98 yes. contracts, We can multiply 98 contracts times 125,000 so that we have the exact amount of money that we'll be investing or the exact amount of funds that will be invested in the futures. How much does it give us? It will take us back to the same coach. Yeah, it can take us back to the same number. We see to take us to this to back to the same to be 98.4. No, what I'm saying is it will take us back to 12 million. No, 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 it oh, won't. Okay, let me just let me just calculate it. Let's see. It can't, it's not possible. Okay, it's, it's taking us to 12,250. So, what does the difference mean? What does the difference mean? Hello? Yes, Father. Did you walk out? Then I'm going to
Hello? Yes, now. Yes. Uh -huh. So, what does the difference mean? Uh, my understanding would be that if we wait for the future's due, um, would receive. Uh, hmm. No, 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 no. What we are actually saying, we'll buy 98 contracts. So in buying yes. 98 contracts, the money that we have for, for investment is 12.3. But mm -hmm. we cannot invest a whole lot because the only amount that we can invest to adding complete contracts is 98 with this. This, this is going to be invested in futures. So we invest mm -hmm. this amount in futures. Mm -hmm. So we invest it in futures. This one, the difference will go into forward markets. Check the question. Saying uh, um, the Treasury Department intends to hedge the foreign exchange rate on this transaction using traded futures or options mm -hmm. as far as possible. Any amount not hedged by a futures or option contract will be hedged on the forward contract. Mm -hmm. You get it on the forward market. So this is where we are going to put this 50,000. Because it's not possible that we can invest a whole 12.3 in futures because the contracts are not complete. We can only invest 98 in 98 contracts of these futures at a contract size of 125,000. Are we there? Yes, I think so. Now that we, we know what we have to do. So, we go back to the question. We go back, <coughs> we go back to the question. We know that we we'll have to use, we we'll have to convert, we we'll invest the 12.250 million, 12.2, 250 million. What will be the, the, the futures price? So we need now to find the futures for May. Do we have the futures for May? Uh, okay. There's, there's this um, sentence here which goes like the contract specification for the check futures contract states that are in initial margin of. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. That. We have the futures, but we don't have for May. We cannot predict it. what will be the price in May. Remember that the 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 the. the We have December, March, June. So we have to, to predict for March, for May. Help me to predict for May. G just give me a met method, the way, whatever. Hello, coach. Hello. Yes.
Then we will go that side. This time, guys, come in here. I can't have a year. I'm having class, please. Go, go and get the D that sound that's coming up. Go, go with it. I'm in class, Nana. Away. Uh uh. Sorry, I'm stuck on the edge of the phone. Okay. Add it, add it. You can put your foot. No, I'll give you when I finish. Look. You understand? I'll give you when you finish, okay? Oh. Then you can play with it, okay? Mommy, can I write some paper? Of course, I'll give you a paper and the pencil, okay? Okay. Oh. Can you write in the same room, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, 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 coach. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry about that. So now we have to predict using the numbers for March and June. We have to predict eh, what the price would be for May the futures. You got that? Yes, coach. My understanding uh, earlier from your from the first slide was that we get the. Uh, like for instance here they're talking about may so since since futures can only be dealt with in in, in time in three months eh? mm -hmm. so my understanding was that you get the nearest the closest so like for me it would go for the june one that this yeah. is what i, I you can I do you. they'll be different now we will always predict remember what we are doing remember what we are doing you have forgotten what we were doing on predicting the futures. Huh? You can go for the June ones when you want for May. So let's go and do the computations. Mm -hmm. So here I will look at for June. We have four March. Mm -hmm. These are the futures. That's first, I'll start with that. So here, what is for the, what is the June futures? Yes. Um, Okay, we. Hmm. 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 So, what is what are the June futures? One point zero three six nine. So you have one point zero six nine, right? One point zero. Yes, one point zero three six nine. One point oh sorry, one point zero 
three, six, six, nine. Six, nine. Then the futures for March? 1.0345. So, how much do we get? We get 2.0714 when you divide by 2. Uh, well, uh, just the difference. Give me the difference here. I'm interested in the difference first. Zero point zero zero two four. Zero point zero two four or again zero. another zero. Another zero. Zero. Two four. Two four. So this is how many months? From June to March, it's how many months? Hello? Yes, coach. Uh, how many months? Why are you reading it that way? Why not, not March, June? Mm, I can have it in this way. How, if you are going down from June to, to March, how many months? It's the same thing. <laughs> No, of course. June is after March. So if, if That's I, what I'm instance, saying. If you are going down, I'm looking at the difference in terms of the months. Okay. So that would be nine months, I think. It can be nine months. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Um, I'm just looking at the difference between June and March. How many months? There's three months, yes. Yeah, that is three. what I want. That is what I want. So you have three months, yeah. right? Then this is May and we have the number already for March. We have the number for March, which is 1.0345. Mm -hmm. So, here if it's three months, we know that going this side, finding this difference that we want to find, it should be two over three times this number here. Give me the value. Zero point zero zero one six. Zero point zero zero one six. So I want these two numbers to be added. How much do you get for me? One point. Zero three six one. One point zero three six, six one. one. These are predictions, not that to be correct is the exact one. No, these are predictions when you're assuming that everything is linear. We are we have just done a pro we have just prorated what is here. We're assuming that if if the conditions remain as is, and that are taken for three months, meaning this side. For two months, this will be the new price for the future. Now that we understand that this will be for the future, 
and these are dollars. We now go ahead to to do the computations. So for the futures, we had 12 to 15. CHF oh. <laughs> We'll have to convert this times the future value. How much is the future value? The one that we got the other side. Did you type it somewhere? 1.031 361. Giving us how much? <coughs> Giving us so. This is, this is now in dollars, isn't it? 12 million. Yes. Yeah. 692. 692. 225. 692, how much? Then 225. 225. These are dollars. What we are looking at is first method one. Then for the forward market, remember the, 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 the 50,000? 50,000, yes. So it is a 50,000 CF H. <laughs> so to be times times what in March? In May. Oh, there's this uh, the three months forward. Uh huh. So since, since the period here is three months, mm. we go for this one. <laughs> ah, this one, one day. <laughs> so, all we are doing, all these things, because it's a forward market. Mm. So forward market, the three months, it will not take you to May if you're in November, if you're, if you're on the 30th November. So on 30th November plus three months, it is not going to take you to May. So which one will take you to May? The six months. It will be? Six, the six months forward, yes. From November, uh -huh. six months will be May, yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we have these two rates. We have 1.0358 and 1.0380. Mm -hmm. Which one among the two are you going to use? Hello? Hello, yes, coach. Which one are you going to use? You are buying dollars, do you know that? We are supposed to receive, right? 
Yeah, but he understand it in a different way. Mm -hmm. You are buying dollars. It's the dollars that you want. Yes. So if you are buying dollars, we, we which the of these When we are buying, then uh -huh. the first so, rate is for buying, then the second is for selling. Uh -huh. So understand one thing. It's different from what we're actually looking at the last time. The last time it was dollars per pound, and it would say $100,000, and you are in the UK. So you'd look at the other number. But here we are actually buying dollars. So we are going to use the first number, which is 1.0. Uh -huh. Three five eight. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. My handwriting is bad. I don't know if it's my handwriting or it's my electronic writing. <laughs> <laughs> Even in real life, my handwriting is bad. So one point. One point zero three five eight. Zero three five, five eight. eight. So how much does it give you? 51,790. 51,790. 51,790. 790. So all you do in the thing, this is for the futures, remember? This line, you, you put the headline, a header nicely, or a description. This is futures, whereas this is for the remainder of your funds, which you're actually investing in the forward market. So then the outcome you add, what, how much do you, do you make? So find the total. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Seven forty four. Seven forty four. Zero one five. Zero one zero one five. So let's go to method two, because this is not an exact science. So you can still compute your futures in whichever way you want to compute them. But just to conform with, with this, a bit of some theory, you can just do it. Okay. So, and after this, practice and practice and practice and practice. I just have to. <laughs> So the first thing is that we can predict the futures. We can predict the futures. Using. Using the spot rate, so say method two, using the spot rate and the June future. So let's do the prediction. So we have the, the June future, we we'll also have the spot rate.
-hmm. So what's the John Fio Chang? 1.039 1 1.039 1 What's the spot rate? <coughs> uh, Use the first one 1.0 292 1.0 292 292 What's the difference? This portrait obvious is November 30th. Mm -hmm. Zero point zero zero seven seven. Zero point zero zero. Yes, seven seven. Seven seven. Always try to find the difference in months. No, between June twenty x nine and November thirtieth, twenty x eight. What's the difference? Eight months. Hmm? From November, because the next day. This, this is basically, this is November 30th. So if you start counting from December. <laughs> so how many months? How many months? Oh, sorry, six months. Oh, six. Can, can it be six months? To June, you said, right? Hmm. To hmm. June or to May? <laughs> to June, June 30th. Seven, it's June 30th. So it's seven the months. Whole of June. Yes, sir. <laughs> so it's seven months. So what you are doing, you are still maintaining. I'll come here. You are actually changing a bit. Instead of June, you want to predict for May. But you have the spot rate still. On 30th November. which is 1.0292. So here you have just reduced by one month, meaning that you have six months out of the seven. So what it means is that you have to multiply this by six months divided by seven. In short, what you're actually doing, you want to find per month. So per month is 0 0.0077 divided by seven. Whatever you get, you multiply it by six so that we have for May, up to May. So how much do you get? Um, 0 0.0066. Zero point zero zero six six zero zero six six double six like this. So how yes. much would be for me if you add this plus that? How much does it take you to? One point zero three five eight. So one point 
zero, three, three, five, eight. Five, eight. Ideally, it should be slightly lower than the June one, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you notice it's the same one with, that is given as a forward for six months. I mean, it's portrait for six months. Oh, I don't know. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at the... At, uh, at, uh, oh, okay. On okay. the six months forward, yeah, yeah. yes, this mm -hmm. is the exact mm -hmm. one. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It could just be coincidence. Wow, well, I wanted to ask the, the exam would there be a way of figuring out from the information since you're saying six months. Mm. If we could have gotten this, ah, uh, it's better go I, I go. Like go. Ah, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't advise you. That? Yeah, just calculate. Okay. Now that we have found this, we now go to pick that number. So we check on our is it CHF? which is two or 12, sorry. It's 12, right? 12.3. Mm -mm. It can't be 12.3, that's what I'm going to do. 12.25, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times the number that you got, which is 1.03, Five eight. Five eight. Mm -hmm. How much do you get? It will be basically on futures. It will be there. It will be twelve thousand six eighty eight. Twelve six eighty eight. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I think I, I made a mistake. Just we just okay. calculate it first. Okay. Yes, it's uh, 12688. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. 12, 6, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Then now we have for the forward market. We already had calculated that 50,000, so it's still the same thing. Just give me the, mm -hmm. the amount. supposed to have a class at 20 hours. I'm surprised people are not, people don't observe time. It's only now who observes time, right? Now I'm up in a good class. I remember I was full. Say, it's coming to 51,790. 51,790. Find the amount. Oh. Hmm. Here we are using the same rate, both for the futures and for the, for the forward contract. Which which same which same rate? Here for forward contract, we are saying it's fifty thousand times the the spot rate, which is what, which is the same one as the one we just used for the futures. Ah, uh, Kai, where it's it, no, even the other first one, we did not. It wasn't on the futures. It was on the forward market. Remember that we had 12.3 million Swiss whatever currency. Huh? Yes, there I, I, I followed, yes. Uh -huh. I want you to understand how that 50,000, what? Yes, I, that one I know is the difference between uh, what, what was given us to be paid, the 12.3, mm -hmm. and the, the difference we got by multiplying the number of contracts, which we rounded off to 98, by by the, the the contract price we're given in the question which was 12 125,000 mm -hmm. so now when we, we compare the the 12,300 
12 million 300,000 to the 12 million 250. That's how we got the 50. So we said we had the first, then the rest, we, we took it to forward contract. That's so how it, I yeah. the So this, this 1.0358 now, it is not the, it is not for the futures. Are you saying this? It is not for the future. It's coincidence. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Mm, let me just pick this. Hello? Hello, how are you? Fine. It's, it's now over 20. I'm waiting here. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So that was just yeah, coincidence. Ah, bakal pofi. Kaka ibaf ngong kena ngong nom klaso. So. Because now here, where we are right now, uh, you you had gone back in here. Uh -huh. When when we add. Oh, the, I, we are go. I go this side. Uh, so let's add first. Let's add. I'm getting twelve seven forty. Twelve seven forty. Seven forty. Yeah. Then comma three forty. Three forty. Mm -hmm. So remember that what we did at first. Yeah. Where is that from? <coughs> mm -hmm. Not this. This one was in method one. So let me let me uh, share the 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 question so that we we just try to internalize this part on futures. So on the futures, what we're actually doing is, and you continue facing such questions. The first thing that we needed to do was to, to, to predict the future for that particular month. Hello, yes, Alfred. Uh, hi, uh, how are you? I'm fine. I'm just waiting for you guys. I had another class, so I'm using the classroom. So I'm just waiting for you. Oh. You can just listen in. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we'll start, okay, okay, okay. We'll start maybe the next two minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Just listen in. <laughs> okay. So, okay. <laughs> so, when we are looking at the futures now, the first thing that we have to do if we are not given, sometimes the examiner would give us the futures. We should not assume that no, because now we, are, we want to find the futures for May, we have June, let's use for June. We cannot be that simplistic. One there. Okay. We need, we need to compute. And all we are doing basically is to just find to, we would use the uh, pro rata. If, if, we have the, if we have the exchange rates, we can use the exchange rates and the, and the, and the, and the future, we get the difference, we, we will be able to predict that. But if we haven't been given, we can use the future for the previous month against the future for the current month. We can still use that to just okay. predict. And that is what we did. Uh, let me just, sorry. Kangwa, how are you? Yes. 
So that is what we that is what we did. It's just five minutes, at least now the quorum is what I'll be starting the next two minutes, guys. So first thing that we did was to predict the futures. We had June and please just do the practicing now. We had for June and we had for March. We didn't have for May. So we found first we had these futures, we got computed. When we found the difference, this is the difference that we assumed that things will be linear. If we still have the match number, then we'll be able to predict for May. That is what we did. So right. the method one was that. Then for method two, we said we are going to use the spot rate in 30th uh, November and the future for June. And we are able to predict, first we found the difference, and we used that difference to predict the future for May, which then we used to do our investments, we computed, we found that for the futures, the difference was for forward market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we are now done.